Okay guys, this is a seven foot rotary cutter and it's got a problem. It's got a blown seal on, uh, in this, oh, I guess you call it the power unit here. It's not really a transmission, it's like a differential. And this thing is spewing oil all over the decks. So we're going to have to put new seals in it before we mow this year. And uh, I do about 30 acres of my own and, and, um, and then I do about, uh, well, a couple, two or three fields of my neighbors. So uh, it's time to do this. I'll start mowing about the end of July. So I'd like to get this done early because I have other projects to work on. So anyway, we'll tear into this and we'll see what we have to do to get seals in this thing. I hope that the inside of the transmission is okay. I think it should be. But uh, okay, stay with me and we'll get to it. Okay, so there's the front seal out of there. Now, we'll clean that out. Get a size and get a new seal and get her back in there. Get this puppy back into service. Okay. Okay, we've got the seal out of this uh, gearbox and I apologize for not uh, getting a video of that. I had the camera on and focus, but there was a small issue with forgetting to push the record button. I drilled two holes in the oil seal and I used my slide hammer and a screw and I popped the seal out. But the disassembly was pretty easy. Uh, this is the clutch pack. Uh, actually, this is on here to ensure that if you hit something that this will give and, and not break something on the mower or the tractor. So this slides over the, the spline here. That's held on with a uh, circlip or a, a retaining ring. And then this yoke right here bolts on to the uh, clutch. So that was the disassembly. But anyway, you can see up in there, that's where the new uh, oil seal will go. And as soon as I get it in, I'll pop that back together. Need to get this mower going because it's almost time to start mowing again. I usually do about 40 acres a year with this 